What's up guys and welcome back to Millennium Mines. We got started on this park last episode and I think we got off to a pretty good start. Again, sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I am I don't know if I'm getting worse or getting better, but the cold is still kind of present. So please forgive me for that. Uh, but so far our rides are doing very well. Uh, Coal Town Carton has pretty much had a full line since we opened it. And uh, Gold Rush Glory here has a pretty decent sized line uh, consistently. It fills up by the time the train gets back. It empties and then again, it fills up again before it gets back. So I think we're off to a good start with this park. So I forgot to make the Coal Town Carton ride have that log theme, which I kind of like. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to build, uh, we're going to take care of a couple basic um, or gentle and throw rides first. Uh, and then we're probably going to take out a little bit of a loan because we don't have that much money to our name. Uh, what color would look good? We have enough brown. <laughs> let's do, let's do black. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to take out a little bit of a loan because we don't have that much money and between the few small things I want to build here we're gonna have even less of said money so yeah that's that's where we're at um, I want to build a scrambled eggs a hundred house and a carousel uh, but I want everything to still fit into our park nicely so I'm trying to be very conscious of where I place things and where I don't know. I'm trying to think through all my options as where things could end up. So, um, I'm wanting to extend the path up right here. So let me actually do that so I can kind of see where we're working with. So if we extend our park in this direction, which I do want to do, we're going to extend it all the way up here. And then actually, let's get rid of this and lower this one. Um, I think this would look a little bit nicer if we do it like that. Okay, so then we'll have the pathway leading up here, uh, which means that our entrance and exit need to connect up probably somewhere on the lower level. I think it's a little excessive to have them go all the way up here to connect. Um, so we'll do the entrance right here and the exit can go there. And we're gonna have to elevate this just slightly to get this to work, but that is fine. And then we're doing yellow, right? Yeah, yellow footpaths, or uh, yellow cues. I get those words mixed up all the time. Why is that not... Why did it connect to my... What the heck? That is strange. Okay, this is going to have to be even weirder. <laughs> there we go. I guess it considers it footpath? And kiosks can connect to that? I don't know, that's really strange. Uh, but anyway, uh, scrambled eggs one. We'll go ahead and test this. We'll up the rotations a little bit. What's the max? 18, we'll do one shy of max. 15 is good. Full load, all that's fine. Um, log cabin, I'm glad it defaults to these because I would most certainly forget if we kept doing these. Um, but I had a name in mind for this. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, we're still going to try to stick to our, um, what was I going to say? We're still going to try to stick to our egg themed names for our scrambled eggs, but I still want to incorporate a little bit of the, the town or not the town, the park theme in as well. So, uh, combining eggs and a mining town, I came up with coal town quiche. A quiche is made out of eggs, so it still works. But Coltown Quiche. Uh, 195, we'll do 150. See if people ride it, which they do. Perfect. How much are we charging for our train still? 150? I wonder if we can get away with $2. Because this does... It doesn't bring in a lot of people all at the same time. But over time, a good amount of people will end up riding this thing. 
Okay, too expensive. Back to 150 it is. Okay, there we go. People are starting to ride it again. All right, so that is our scrambled eggs. Uh, we need to make sure that our mechanic can reach over here. Uh, do we still just have the one? We'll hire a second one for this area. Uh, not because our first one can't cover it, but because I do plan on extending it over uh, in this area some, and I'll have this guy cover that portion as well. So, for now, he'll cover all that, and I'll actually have him do this as well, because he's going to be going there eventually. So that'll help me. Oh, and I didn't name these guys. So this guy is... What? Train... Crazy Rodent... Train crazy rodent, and then this guy will be scrambled eggs. Or actually, we'll name him Quiche. It almost sounds like Keith, <laughs> so it kind of actually sounds like a person. And we'll hire another handyman as well and get him on this area. And again, we'll expand him out when the time comes. So that is our scrambled eggs, and we also wanted to build a haunted house and a slide uh, or carousel merry-go-round, whatever it's called. Um, the haunted house, I think, would be cool to do... Hmm, I don't know. We actually have... Oh, no, we don't. This is... I thought this is more elevated than it was. I'm trying to think. This is going to be an interesting park to utilize all of our space in, because we do have a lot of space, and I'm going to try to kind of space things out a little bit if I can. Uh, so I'm probably going to grow my park pretty significantly in this episode just to kind of stretch things out and space things out appropriately so let's actually put this back here in the corner um we'll have the entrance over here exit right there and i'm i'm just kind of doing this off the cusp if you will um i'm not quite sure what's connecting up where so I do know that I want this path to go down right here. So just to keep going straight down this. And then... Hmm. If we do this, we could do sort of kind of a... I don't know. I'm trying to think through my options here. I'd like to have a ride come out of this at some part. I think that would look kind of cool. But for now... That's what we'll have. And we'll go ahead and do another handyman and another mechanic in this area. Not in that order. I realize I messed that up. I always get those two confused. Uh, and this guy will be... Haunted... House, if I can type. Uh, and then I said we're going to get another handyman as well. So let's get that going. And then... I do, uh, as far as the roller coaster for this episode... I'm thinking of doing... I don't know if I mentioned this not mentioned this already or not, but I'm thinking of doing a log flume. I think that would be very cool in this park. Uh, add a little bit of color. Everything is very dark and boring currently, and I can't color the water, so it's always going to be blue. So I think that would add a little bit to the park. So log cabin entrances, perfect haunted house mode, awesome. No other options there. And then let's charge buck fifty for this as well. If people will still pay it, which it looks like they will. People just don't want to go on it because it's not super exciting. And then this will be... I want it to be kind of out here by itself. And I might make this area into somewhat of a kind of like a logging camp. So... I'm going to name this sort of preemptively, but I do want to add some trees to this area and make it feel sort of like a, a logging camp. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think that would fit well uh, with a uh, mine town sort of feel. So we're going to do just that. So let me just go ahead and add a few of those trees just while I'm thinking about it so we can kind of stick to that later in case I forget. Because you guys, if you know anything about me, you know I will. Um, and we're going to do these skinny, cheaper ones for now. I don't have too much money, so I don't want to spend too much money. 
Nope, not that. We're going to do a bunch of these smaller ones. Not too many. Because, again, it's a logging camp. I want it to feel like it's kind of been cut down. Uh, not super heavily forested still. So we're just going to add a couple of these thicker ones. I'll do another one over here. Maybe one more down here. And then I also wanted to add some of those logs that we did last time. Just these kind of log piles. We'll do one of these. I don't know even what that is. Just kind of like a pile of tools. That's kind of nice. And then just a bunch of these kind of logs. I think that would look nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this theme. It's kind of fun to kind of do these little details. Um, it's something I haven't really gotten to do too much of in my other parks. And that's primarily because we don't have... Oh, that's a full one. It's primarily because we don't have these kind of objects that fit the theme of our park. So it's not always an option. Uh, but in this one, we have that option. So I'm glad I'm utilizing said option. <laughs> So, okay, so there's a haunted house kind of out in the forest by itself. And then the merry-go-round, I don't want it to be near that because that's kind of a cabin feel. I don't feel like that would fit too well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, where? Where would be good for this? So we're going to bring the path up here and run it down this way to extend throughout the rest of our park over here. So we'll actually do this one right here on the, the top. And then we'll actually expand the walkway out all the way over here. And I'm, I don't know what, how I feel quite yet about uh, expanding my walkway this much before really doing much of anything. But you'll see, I'm trying to make some areas... Like, I could have easily tucked that around here and been more concise with it. But now that I have that large open space... That allows me to do some decoration. Again, it's not much, but it adds a lot to that area. That looks so much better now, in my opinion. Uh, and we'll do one... Do a house. Which way does this face? Right there. Perfect. That'll allow us to do a walkway down here, maybe to a coaster or something in this general area, or... I don't know, but let's go ahead and get our handyman, get him out this direction, as well as our mechanic, Keish. I'm going to want to call him Keith from now on, now that I said that. Uh, and then our merry-go-round, let's go ahead and open that. And I don't know if I want this music. Um, it's too, it doesn't fit this park at all. Yeah, it fits the ride, but my the vibe I'm going for for this park is not fairground organ style. And that's the only option you have for a merry-go-round. So we'll add music eventually once we get some uh, coasters in. But for now, that's not going to be the case. Uh, we'll charge... Let's do 80 cents for this one. That seems like a fair price because it's only excitement rating of 1.1. Or it only has an excitement rating of 1.1. There we go. And then, what did I want to name this? I actually didn't come up with a name for this one. Um, we just got a steel mini. That's a good ride to build. Not this episode, but uh, let's do... That's good. I like that gray and white. That's nice. Um, oh, I didn't think of a name for this one ahead of time. I'm kind of doing coal town everything. It's very mining related. Um... Mine and yours. <laughs> I don't know. Play on the words. Or it's a play on the word mine. So. 80 cents. That's good. And yeah. I think that's it for that one. And then we'll also build a slide real quick while I'm just kind of thinking of it. And this one can go right here. It's small. It's easy to do. And I think that's a decent spot for it. So actually have the entrance here. Exit there. 
I can envision these pathways pretty well as I build these rides. Um, I build it, I see the path, I factor all of that in as I build it. So, and we'll do, I think we can do a dollar for this one if we have it that exciting. Yeah, that'll work. And then the name for this, let's do, uh, what did I have in mind for this one? Oil Slick. And then Oil Slick, of course. Ooh, that black and yellow is kind of cool, but that's not what we're going to do. Um, what does the blue look like with that? I kind of like that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oil Slick. I like it. And then make sure our mechanic can get that as well. There we go. Okay, sweet. That is it for our simple stuff. That took way longer than I anticipated. Um, but we're still going to do what I promised. So let's go ahead and build a log flume. I hope I don't have to take out too much money to do this. But you never know. So, Oh, of course they are. Give me your money, guests. I want it all. Sweet. Okay, so... What area do I want to do this in? I was thinking this area, and I think I want to stick to that, because there are already some cliff sides made that I want to sort of take advantage of. I think that would look kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to start the station right here, actually. Uh, and we'll go out the back a little bit. I want to make sure this goes around those trees there, and it does. Perfect. Okay. So... Again, I'm building this backwards, I'm aware. But I want this walkway to go... Actually... No, I don't. I'd rather have it go... Underneath all of this. So, let's actually build our entrance and exit first. Like, I'm starting to enjoy doing more and more. It makes building the ride a lot easier when you actually get to the ride. So... And we'll connect this again right with that main path right there. So, perfect. And where's our handyman? Handyman four. He's got all of it but one. Perfect. Okay. I'm not done building that. Why did I close that out? Okay, we'll add a few more station platforms. I don't want to make this incredibly long. Uh, partly because I don't have the money. And partly because it doesn't really need to be at this point in our park. But these tunnels, I feel like, will add a lot. Um, at least, I'm hoping so. To the excitement rating, because that usually makes these things quite exciting. Okay, so we'll come out of the ground here. And then... I don't want it to go too much in this direction. I'd like to bring it back around... When we get the chance, we'll actually go back this way because I feel like this space will be less utilized than this space because we need to carry our walkway out in this direction. And I'm not quite sure how that's going to all line up yet. So um, that will be something we'll have to wait and see on. Okay, that lines up nicely. And then we'll do our first decline. Nothing crazy because we do need to clear this. But once we do that, I'd like to go back underground here, which we can't. <laughs> and we can't lower it here already. Uh, what if we do... If we go straight for one, I don't want these two pieces to go right next to each other. That makes the tunnels look not as good, in my opinion. Oh, and that actually clears. I didn't think that was going to. That's awesome. And we're not going to own this land. Can we purchase any? I always check that. I think that makes it a little bit easier than trying to completely change your plan. So, okay, so we're going to have to turn it to the right here to avoid that. And we'll have to S bend left to avoid this. We can't even do that. Can we turn to the left? Yes, we can. So that actually shares a tile. <laughs> and it doesn't look so great right here, but we're not going to be spending a lot of our time in underground view. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we'll actually... Is that hitting ride? No, it's not. I don't know why I was thinking it was. 
So that should be able to clear all of this. Yeah, and it can. Okay, so we're actually going to try ending this fairly soon. Um, so my goal is right now to just kind of take it back and bring it out probably here-ish. I think that would look kind of cool. Uh, so we'll S-bend one to the right and then do that. That brings us right there. So then if we do an S-bend to the left, it comes out exactly where I wanted it. That's awesome. When do I ever get this stuff right on the first try? <laughs> Uh, I stand corrected because I now am not getting it on the first try. Uh, okay, can we raise it one here? We can. Okay, and then that should be the same. No, it's not. That's fine. So we'll just do two pieces here, and then a turn, and then an S-bend left. No, because that needs to be... Oh, man. So we'll have to do two S-bends to the right. Oh, guys, the struggle. Okay, we just went through an S-bend here, that's fine. Uh, we'll back that off and we'll turn it back this direction. Raise or lower land first. Okay, change of plans. Instead of going up here, we'll actually keep it straight. That will still, us allow, still allow for us to do the S-bend, the turn, another turn. another turn after we get it where we need it and then is this exactly what we tried doing last time it is um okay so we're actually going to lower this so if we come out at six we should hopefully be able to go under it by one i hope sorry this is a lot of trial and error okay so we can clear that and that should be it for our underground section. Uh, because I'd like to take it... Ooh, this isn't going to work. I wanted it to rest right along that. But that doesn't appear that that's going to be the case. So, we'll actually... We're going to have to bring this up by one right here. So that way we can clear all that. Okay, perfect. And we'll turn to the right, and then we should, as long as not too much is in our way, be able to kind of make our way back up to the level that we're wanting here. Uh, so we're actually going to have to go... Oh, man. I can't clear this path if I continue it. No, I didn't think so. Okay, so we'll turn it here. Man, this is difficult to build. I kind of like the challenge. But, and that's going to run right into that ride. Okay. Um, <laughs> can we go back underground for a second? I guess we're going to have to. Um, what did we do? What do we do here? So that'll be 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, man. Guys, I am struggling here. Uh, okay, we're going to modify the land ever so slightly to allow that to happen. And that's going to go right back over this ride. So it won't look super realistic, but we'll get a support going here in just a second uh, to avoid that from looking too awful. And I hope if I get this up to 13... Too high for supports. Of course it is. 13. Turn it. Too high for support still. Okay, so we'll make this work. This is perfect. I mentioned at the start of this, I wanted to make this kind of short. Um, this is the opposite of short. <laughs> this is actually a very, very long log flume. So we'll flatten that at 11, and then, unfortunately, this is going to have to get modified. But it shouldn't look too much different from everything else here. We'll just have to lower this down ever so slightly. And then these two as well. And that should maintain the majority of its, of its look. So that should... Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. And this should allow us to add one more station as well, or one more piece of station. 
So that is our log flume. I think that that looks pretty awesome. Uh, I really like how that came out. It is long, but I am very glad we didn't have to take out a loan. That is one thing I expected we were going to have to do. And we didn't have to do it. So I am pleased about that. Okay, and this line is going to be kind of long. At least I'm wanting it to be kind of long. Um, where is this going to end up connecting? Okay, I'm trying to envision how I'm going to expand my park as I build this. So, we'll actually do it... I want it to connect straight here because... I want this to be our extension. It's going to come off this piece back over down this way, possibly underground. Actually, probably not because we need to get back up in this general area. Uh, but let's go ahead and give Logfoom1 a quick test just so we can get some stats on it. And we'll open it. Not for free. We're going to charge $4 for this to start. Um, I'm pretty sure guests will pay whatever the heck you want in the beginning until you get stats because they don't know what is expected. Uh, so you can kind of get away with charging exorbitant prices in the beginning at least. But that changes quite quickly. So, And again, let's do our favorite color brown. <laughs> All in same colors, always. And the gray supports, I actually kind of like. I think it looks nice. Uh, it's a nice sort of contrast to some of the other colors in this park. And then the blue, like I said earlier, it adds, given half this ride is underground, but I think it adds a little bit to the park. It adds a little splash of color. And we are going to do some rides in color. I know it's very boring looking currently, but I think, again, it goes with the theme of this park. So let's name this... What did I name this ride? Dang it. I was going to do Gold Rush. <laughs> um, what's another water related? Okay. Uh, let's do the Gold Panner. So if you've ever panned for gold, that's what this is. Basically scoop up a bunch of rocks and stuff from the bottom of a river then you angle in a pan, you scoop it up in a pan, then you angle that pan and allow the flow of the water to move or to push off the top layer of rocks because gold is usually fairly heavy. It's very malleable, but it's a, it's heavy, heavier than rocks at least. Uh, and so it will brush off the top layer of rocks and stuff. And as you sift off more and more of the debris, you're left with gold at the bottom. So let's go ahead and give this some music. We're actually gonna do summer style. I think that's a little bit more peaceful than that kind of eerie water style. But okay guys, we are in March of year two. So we've gone over our four month cap that we normally do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I think it was worth the little extra time we put in. I think this ride came out very nicely. We did a pretty good job expanding our park here. Uh, and we now have quite a bit more park to contend with, but I'm glad about that. I want to try to use this whole park. I think we can easily do that, uh, once, especially once we start building some roller coasters, because those are going to take up quite a bit more space, and we're going to have a lot of walkway that will be needed to get to those spaces. So, uh, that didn't make any sense, and I am completely aware of that, but... <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.